What's going down, guys? A little quick solo episode. I am scheduling everybody for the upcoming weeks and months for the podcast. I did want to uh, wish everybody a very happy new year before it gets too late because I think after that first five days, January 5th, after that, we can't start wishing people happy new year anymore. It's it, it's too late at this point. But um, I wanted to just wish everybody a happy new year. I hope everything went really amazing for everybody during the holidays. Hope you got to spend some time with some family, enjoy, disconnect from work a little bit, disconnect from social media, and uh, just live presently is kind of the uh, the name of the game in terms of uh, the holidays for me. They go by so quick. Just look how fast the fall has already gone. It's the middle of the winter now, and uh, spring is going to be here, and it's a right around the corner. So we have to enjoy the time that we have and cherish every single moment that we do have. If you have goals such as getting stronger, getting more physically fit, eating better, advancing your business, being a better father, being a better son, husband, whatever it might be, uh, daughter, doesn't matter. Now is the time to do it versus, you know, three months from now and you look back and you go, oh man, I got to start this already. The time has already passed. So you might as well start today. And whatever your goals are in life, you need to just be able to narrow them down, understand that there are challenges that come along with them. And those challenges are actually what make you stronger. And the journey and the process of getting to the final destination is actually the most gratifying part of the journey. It's not necessarily reaching the end because the end is short-lived and you make another goal and you, you want to do something different. So for me, I want to continue to build up the production company, Rizzles Productions. I want to continue building this podcast up, reaching more people and sitting down with more amazing guests over the uh, the coming year especially. I want to be an amazing son to my mother because she means the world to me and without her, I wouldn't be the man that I am today. I want to be a good dog dad for Kenji and make sure that he's okay, healthy and happy and giving him every opportunity for the healthy and happy life that I can I uh, I want to compete in a jiu-jitsu tournament, at least one, so I'm going to decide which one I want to do. It's super nerve-wracking for me because I'm very competitive, and I'm also very nervous about injuries, but uh, I have to honestly get over it and um, just be able to spearhead my goal of competing. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win, but it's a learning curve, and I'm still very new to this sport, so there's tons of development on this journey that I have in front of me. And I want to remind people that, oh man, I want to remind people that it's an election year. And I know all you guys know this. Uh, it's January 3rd as I'm recording this right now. And this is probably going to come out tonight or tomorrow morning. Politics have really fucked up a lot of people's relationships with others. It's fucked up the world. They've consistently, no matter which party, divided us against one another, and it's truly disgusting the lows that people will go to to ram a candidate, to ram a policy, to ram a thought process down another person's throat if they don't 1,000% agree with somebody else. It's not okay. It doesn't matter if you're on the right. It doesn't matter if you're on the left. What it comes down to is we need to all be in unity together because we can't be divided and hating each other because that's what they want. They want us to be divided. They want us to be bickering about stupid shit and having our own personal identity in some random person who says they care about us, but they don't actually. Because if they did, things would change. You know, if you look around, things are basically the same as when this candidate promised you that four years ago they'd come in and clean something up. It's a tough pill to swallow, and things are going to get shaky this year. I've been hearing it from a lot of different sources. I've been hearing it from a lot of different people. And truth be told, we're not stupid people. Like We, we can see trends. We can see things that go on. And already the COVID narrative, I know the big C word, and you know, Google, will, YouTube will take me down a couple of pegs for even mentioning it. We, we have to talk about these things. We have to not allow these people, these conversations, our thoughts, our words to get suppressed and to be lost because the people that don't want you saying things have an awful lot to say. So when it comes down to it, 
We need to stick to our guns. If you truly believe in something, if you believe something is not right or you believe that things should be a different way, start making the change. The change starts with you and then it trickles out to everybody around you. When I started my weight loss journey and I started sobriety and I started all of these different journeys, I had a lot of friends that became interested in doing it for themselves as well because they saw the path that I was going down, the path of bettering myself, of personal excellence. You know, it's a tough journey, but when people start seeing that you're doing it and you're out here just making yourself a better person, they want to join in on it because they don't want to be left behind and they also see that it can be done. So when we talk about making a change in our government, in our country, in our state, in our city, in our town, whatever it might be, the change starts with the change starts with you as a person. Be an example, set the standard, and the other pieces around you, the people, they will follow and they'll ask, "How did you become so resilient? How did you become so strong?" I got rid of vices. I trained my mind. I trained my body. I stopped letting all these outside people and chatter and their own bullshit conflicts from around the world. I stopped letting that affect me because I'm not going to. When it comes down to it, you're in control of your own life. And although these decisions that these people, the higher ups, the elites, whatever you want to call them, I call them fucking jerk offs because that's what they are. They're jerk offs. Their decisions, although do, ref do affect you in certain ways, the grand scale of things they do not. You can control yourself. You can control the preparedness that you have. And I don't mean go out and buy 50 barrels of you know, dehydrated food for the end of the world. Because guess what? If we have to live in bunkers for the end of the world, it's probably not worth living in anyway. Let's be completely transparent on that. So when it comes down to it, keep yourself on the plane of personal excellence. Be the example that others look at and go, God damn, Nick's killing it. So-and-so's killing it. I want to be that way with myself, and I want it to translate into my everyday life. And guess what? We're three days. I have to keep looking at it because I keep forgetting what day. They all blend together at some point. But we're three days into the new year, 2024. Now's the time. You know, you could do 75 hard. It's a great program. A lot of people are doing it currently. You know, you can... Start reading and just gaining knowledge on different things. Maybe you want to learn how to grow your own vegetables. Maybe you want to learn how to grow your own fruit. Maybe you want to learn how to do video or content creation or podcasting. Whatever it might be, start doing these things now and leveling your game up. Because as you level your game up, not only does your anxiety come down and your internal negative chatter come down, you become more confident, you become more knowledgeable across a wide variety of topics and, and things in life, and you just feel better. I mean... People without purpose and people without drive, they drift through life. They're miserable. We all know these people. Don't be one of those people. Set this example for yourself and for others around you. And guess what? If the others around you don't match that energy and they're not able to bring themselves to that next level, you're outgrowing your circle. And that's okay. That's part of life as well. But that's a totally different podcast, totally different topic. I want to keep this super short, super concise. I'm selling a lot of gear in the studio and I have a gentleman coming to pick up uh, some stuff that's behind camera A right here that I'm looking at. So in closing, I want to thank everybody for the support on the podcast, the love. I mean, without you guys and without the views, I wouldn't be able to continue growing. I wouldn't be able to continue doing this. I mean, I would be able to continue doing this, but having the numbers and the metrics back, what I feel is the show growing and getting a message out and trying to help others see multiple sides of life, perspectives, stories, and whatnot. Seeing those metrics grow helps me to feel like I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So thank you guys. I, I do appreciate you. As usual, I have to say comment, share, subscribe, all the, all the, the list of you know, engagement for the actual show. So this way the metrics do continue to rise and I am seen more organically from others. But uh, I'm not sure who the next guest is going to be. We're going to do some cool shit. Maybe I'll do a solo episode on a couple of different topics, and I'll actually have some prepared notes for next time. But I did want to pump this episode out, and I wanted to just keep it super organic, super you know, real, as I usually try to do on everything. 
and uh, raw. But uh, on that note, I appreciate all of y'all for fucking with me. Peace.